Okay, let's just plug my tech into my tech. All right, I think we're ready to go. Let's do it, tech addiction. So today I wanna to talk about tech addiction, which is actually my most requested topic so far. And I'm hoping with this video that it helps people to break their phone addiction and it helps you to bring in more focus, attention and connection into your lives. Now, I'm not gonna talk about social media and comparison in this video, I'm gonna do that in a later one. But in this video, what I'm gonna talk about is how tech plays a part in our lives. What is the cost of having this technology in our lives so regularly? And then I'm gonna talk about the potential solutions that I found from over the years of researching and reading books on tech addiction because it's a really passionate subject for me because I've struggled with it really badly myself from video game addiction to being addicted to social media and all of the validation it gives you. And now I just find that it just has such a control over my focus when I'm trying to do work and it really hurts my workflow. So I've done a lot of work into it over the years and especially now and I wanna share my favorite things that I've learned through this process. And the hope is that by having more control over your life and having more control over your technology, that it gives you more time to spend with the people around you and on the things that you're really passionate about. So welcome to The Power of Helping. My name is Ruben Wax and I'm a trainee counsellor and I'm passionate about improving people's lives so that they're then in a better place to empower and support the people around them. Now I wanna just come out straight away and just say, not all technology is bad, far from it. We have this amazing opportunity in our lifetime to have access to so many amazing resources and we're able to utilize technology to make our lives better. But why I wanna make this video is because now that technology is playing such a huge part of our lives, I think that it's sometimes worth just sitting down and considering how is it playing a part in my life? Am I getting more out of this technology than I'm giving? And I wanna quickly answer another potential question on this, which is, am I really addicted to technology? Well, let's just go through a couple scenarios really quickly. If I was to say to you, I'm gonna take away your phone for the rest of the whole week, can't have access to it or anything that it gives you for the rest of the week. Or what about no screens for the rest of the week? Not even TV, no computer, no phone. I mean, I'm getting stressed out just thinking about it, but, Seriously, if we think about how that makes us feel, are we feeling worried or stressed, then that is an indicator that something has a, it's playing a part in our life that has a lot of control over how we're feeling and what we do in our day to day. So now I wanna talk about how technology is playing a part in our daily lives and the impact that it's having on us. So I wanna start with our ability to concentrate and focus on a task and actually work productively. Now, there was a study done at the University of California that showed that whenever we swap tasks, whether that's even just looking at your phone or checking your emails, it takes us around 25 to 30 minutes to get back to full concentration. But they also showed when they were doing the study that on average we were switching tasks around every 3.5 minutes. So we were never actually getting back to our full concentration on the task at hand. Now, if you think this study was done in 2004, that's three years before the iPhone 1 was even brought out. So I can't even imagine how often we're swapping tasks now. And so it's no wonder that we feel so overwhelmed all the time because our brain is an organ. It needs to have breaks just like our gut. But instead we pick up our phone or technology in between every single moment, like when we're waiting in line at the shops or we're just waiting for someone to come back from the toilet, whatever it is, we're constantly just bringing that technology into every single moment. And I found recently that the best thing that's happened to my mental health over the last few months is reducing the amount that I flick between tasks through the day. Now, if we talk about a deeper sense of purpose, then how often do we say, I wish we had more time in the day? But we're on average spending around three to four hours a day on our phones. Now, if we look at that in terms of days of how often we're awake, that equates to around 75 days a year that we're spending on our phones. And it's pretty much the same thing for TV. So if we think out of the 365 days a year, we're spending around 140 to 150 days a year just looking at our phones or TV. 
And that's massively getting in the way of us having a deeper sense of happiness, fulfillment and purpose in our lives because it's a lot easier to scroll on Instagram than it is to sit down and write a book or to learn a new language or to start a new business. But it's those things that are gonna give us that deeper sense of fulfillment in the long run. And this is what Henry David Thoreau talks about, which is life cost. Whatever we choose to spend our time doing, it's at the cost of whatever we decide to not do. And then at the same time, it's reducing the amount of vital connection that we're getting with people. Because when we're interacting with them, let's say at lunch or dinner, we're putting our phones on the table. And it's scientifically proven that even with your phone face down, that it pulls a strong percentage of our ability to concentrate and engage with the person in front of us because we're unconsciously thinking that something's coming through and we want to check it. So all of this adds up over time and it leaves us feeling overwhelmed and stressed. And we want to get to a place where we have more control, we feel better so that we can then be more present with the people around us and have more focus, attention and connection. But really when we talk about technology having an impact on our lives, Social media is one of the biggest culprits, but it's so big and this huge increase in comparison and the impact it's having on our mental health that I'm gonna be doing a whole video on it by itself. So for now, I wanna just move on to potential solutions to reduce the impact that this tech has in our lives and getting back some more time so we can focus on the things that really matter to us. So there is quite a few of them. And as I always say, start slow because we don't wanna rub a band back the other way. So as I'm going through, maybe jot down a couple that really think I could do that. And then over time, you can start to increase more. So the first thing I'd recommend is just to basically do a phone cleanse and get rid of any apps that you're thinking are taking up too much time. Are they really adding value to your life that's worth the time you're giving them? Just get rid of them, try it. Then the next thing I'd say is disable notifications for pretty much everything, for your Facebook, for your Messenger, for Instagram, all of these different things. If you take off the notifications, then you can set scheduled time to go and check and just batch all of them instead of you're constantly drawing your attention from work back to the messenger, work back to Facebook. Setting specific time, it's gonna really reduce the amount of overwhelm that you're feeling and it, it just is such a better system. Try just turning off the notifications or even deleting the apps. And I'm sure you're gonna to come to the same realization that if you just check them once every three to four hours, you're also just gonna to be totally fine. Now, another thing you can do to reduce distractions is on your computer, download the add-on Newsfeed Eradicator. And what this does is it gets rid of the Facebook newsfeed and instead it just puts a quote about procrastination. That's a real good one. And then if you wanna take it to the next level, one of my all time best things that's come into my life around reducing tech addiction that someone showed me recently is freedom.io. Honestly, this app, Freedom, you schedule times where you don't have access to anything that's distracting basically. And you can set whatever those are and for whatever times you want them. And it's just been life changing for me. So check out Freedom as well. So another few more simple things would be one, Get a watch so that instead of having to check your phone each time for the time, then you just look at your watch. That's a real good one. And then try also putting your phone in another room when you're working, or I often recommend putting it in there when you sleep and charging it in the other room. And try doing things like going to the shops or going to the post office, but without your phone and just see how that feels to not have that and just check how many times you have the twitch where you wanna go and check it. And another thing you can do on a similar kind of vibe is the next time you're seeing some friends, you can kind of actively show that you're taking out your phone, you're turning your phone off and putting it in your bag. And it's gonna show them that you're giving them your full attention. And even if unconsciously, they will appreciate that. Now, lastly, what's incredibly important is whenever you reduce the amount of tech that's in your life, you need to make sure that you have something really good to replace it with. So at night, instead of looking at your phone in bed, get a book that's a proper page turner so that you're really excited to go and find out what happens in the book. Or during the day, start a new project that you're really excited to get to so that when you decide to have a few hours without your phone, then you've got something else to do. That's just gonna really help not have that pull back towards the technology. And like I said, just take it slow, bring in a few to start with, but not all of them at once because it's taken me a good few years to get to a point where I've been fully addicted 
to where I am now, which is I've got control over and I've got boundaries. And now I can just use this time to do things that I really care about, like this YouTube channel. But just to round things up, technology, it's not all bad, but it's just about being conscious and aware of the impact that it's having on us so that we can then devote more time and energy to the people and the things that we care more about. So it's about looking at different ways that we can use to combat that. And honestly, I can tell you, I feel so much better. It's done absolute wonders for my mental health and my stress levels and for my productivity. So thank you so much for watching. Next week's gonna be about loneliness and what that's like for us, especially after lockdown. And I, yeah, if you enjoyed the video and you got some value from it, then please consider hitting the like and the subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you next week.